Chest pain is a diagnostic challenge for doctors for its wide spectrum of possible causes. 20 to 40% of general population experience it during their lifetime, and about 7% of them seek health care. The causes of chest pain range from benign to life threatening conditions, so it's a really, really important symptom and need to be evaluated in detail. In this video, we are gonna talk about important causes of chest pain and differentiate them based on other symptoms. There are five main sources of chest pain, cardiovascular, chest wall, pulmonary, gastrointestinal, and psychiatric. In some cases, the sources are medical emergencies, which need to be evaluated soon, and in others, they need to be monitored for a long time. The characteristic of the pain can tell us if the source of chest pain is cardiac or not. Usually, cardiac chest pain is felt in the middle of the chest, and the patient feels like something heavy is pressing on the chest. It can radiate to the arms, jaw, back and rarely the stomach. One of the dangerous causes is acute coronary syndrome or heart attack. These patients often have chest pain at rest and have never experienced such a pain before. Sometimes they can have other symptoms like dyspnea or shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, feeling lightheaded or faint, and the pain can radiate to their back, jaw and stomach. Aspirin should be given to these patients and they should be referred to emergency department as soon as possible for further evaluations. In patients with heart failure, or also known as congestive heart failure, the heart doesn't work properly to pump the blood through the body. When this happens, some symptoms can be shown. Common symptoms include chest pain and progressive dyspnea with activity or when lying down, rapid or irregular heartbeats, cough, fatigue and edema, especially in the lower limbs. Heart failure is not a medical emergency, but people need to be treated with a combination of medications, depending on the symptoms. Angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor, or ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers, and beta blockers are most common medication used for treatment. Chest pain occurs in pulmonary embolism, followed by pleuritic chest pain, which is the sharp and stabbing pain in the chest, when inhaling and exhaling. Whenever a patient has other symptoms, such as coughing, sweating, shortness of breath, and irregular heartbeats, emergent evaluation is necessary to rule out pulmonary embolism. The Wells score is useful for calculating the risk of pulmonary embolism. Sometimes, chest pain has a source out of the heart or lung. Gastroesophageal reflux disease is one of the most common causes in this situation, and sometimes can manifest chest pain with burning characteristic. The treatment is to control the reflux with acid blocker agents, like proton pump inhibitors. A lot of gastrointestinal sources else can cause chest pain, like pancreatitis, esophageal spasm or rupture, and peptic ulcer disease. The physician should collect a comprehensive history of the patient before treating the illness. Psychiatric disorders can also lead to chest pain in some cases. Patients with anxiety disorders, panic disorders, somatoform disorders and depression might experience chest pain, but its prevalence is not high. Up to 25% of people who are suffering from mental issues experience chest pain. Chest pain is a symptom of several diseases and sometimes we need to use diagnosing methods to make a definite diagnosis.